Stanford University. It is exciting. It's unusual to make a breakthrough discovery in a field that isn't your own. So I'm a plant geneticist and molecular biologist, and here me and my lab are making a, a major discovery in pathology. Our big discovery is that the fungal pathogen uses different weapons to cause cancer in different organs of the plant. And this is a revolution because previously everyone thought that every pathogen used all of its weapons wherever it was growing in the host. See how big some of these are? Really massive. So it's interesting what some of the implications could be. First, it means that we might be able to develop drugs or treatments that are specific to the pathogen growing in a particular place in the host. And for plant breeding, it means we might be able to develop plants that are resistant, say, in the fruit or grains, the parts that we want to harvest and eat for ourselves. So corn tassel, the top of the plant, and here is an area that's been completely converted to tumors, and also the tips of each of the branches has tumors. But then also notice that these flowers are continuing to develop normally. They haven't been infected by the fungus. So it's uh, right out of the box, you know, the way that science is supposed to happen, where you get a great observation, follow it up, and have a real discovery. My hope is that our work on corn cancer will inspire new experiments on human disease, because the same assumption that pathogens use all of their weapons wherever they're attacking a human is true in medicine. If it it turns out that human pathogens specialize depending on where they're growing in the, in the body. Then we could develop drugs that are specific for the particular organ or tissue where the pathogen is found. And I think that holds great promise for reducing the damage done to the patient in the course of drug treatment. This is like the best day of your life when all of those experiments work. It's the aha moment that everyone lives for and has just a few times in their scientific career. It's awesome. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.